Hey, what's up guys? It's Parker. Today I'm playing Minecraft Dungeons, giving a tutorial on how to get your level up of your character and emeralds while literally doing nothing while you sleep, while you sit at your computer clicking zero buttons. It's amazing. But while you might have already seen the tutorial on this, I'm also going to show what the XP rates are, how fast you can get levels, how many emeralds per hour you might get, and quick ways on how to solve some of the issues I ran into while doing this myself because I'm not sitting leveling all day. Heck no, I want to level up when I'm sleeping. So the first thing you'll need is a couple items. You'll need a wonderful wheat, you'll need yourself a tasty bone, and as well as a totem of regeneration. Now, I didn't have some of these things. I actually had to grind out for the bone, but if you need them, you can check in some of these levels and see if the item you need is in the drop table. You know, for example, if you need uh, the wheat, that's a great one to grind out to you, you have it. What you also need is armor with final shout on. Now, it shouldn't be too hard to find. There it is, final shout. That's basically all you need. So how we get started with this is let's head on over to our good old pumpkin pastures. Usually I do level three or four. The higher difficulty you are, the higher XP you get, uh, but also it's easier for you to die because you can die. So I usually select level three, but it depends on what kind of defense and armor you have. The raids. No thanks. So <laughs> here is what you'll need. So one thing that also would be nice but is not necessary is the boots of swiftness and your good old ghost cloak to power through this level. And I'll show you exactly where on the map you'll need to be to get this AFK zone going. So once you reach this section right here, you need to kill all the monsters. And when you hit the second section and you see levers, don't hit the levers. Don't hit them. Just stay right there. Oh, I love how easy this is. Oh, level three. You can't even... Nine damage. <laughs> he killed himself because of my thorns. <laughs> All right. So then now whenever you're here, basically this is where you will live. This will be your home. So get nice and comfy as you sit right here and you basically just die. Oh, I have thorns on. So they're killing themselves. I don't think you get any XP whenever they use thorns though, so that is so funny to see. All right, now that you're here, uh, what you're gonna do is you're going to equip the items I mentioned before. So you need yourself a uh, wheat, a bone, and you need a totem of regeneration. So with final shout, I'm gonna upgrade this guy all the way up. So now every eighth second, if my health drops below 25%, then all of my artifacts activate, which means that my llama, my dog, and also I get some health regen, they all activate at the same time. So then now I'm gonna sit over here and get ready to die. We're gonna go ahead and add gravity pulse as well, which will pull enemies towards me, which I'm cool with, because sometimes like this guy, he likes to go real far away. And now the monsters will keep on spawning. So I'm just gonna hit my one, two, and three, get my dog and get my llama going. And now they're gonna do all the fighting for me. I technically don't need to do anything. If you're finding that when you do this, sometimes you die because you'll have monsters like these guys who might do a fair amount of damage or your armor or your uh, total level might be lower is you can actually change your settings. So I'm gonna go to my settings, go to my key bindings. I'm gonna change my melee attack to left control as you can see. Now that my melee attack is set to left control, if I am holding down shift and holding down left control on my keyboard, I will automatically swing, which is convenient. Now, what happens if I put, let's say, a wallet on my keys here and then I just walk away from the computer? See, now I'm doing damage. I don't have to do anything. Now, is this cheating? Maybe. Do I love leveling while I'm sleeping? <laughs> yes. Let's say we're in this scenario where my dog has died, my llama might not be able to do enough damage, and then here I am getting, ooh, hit pretty hard. Then my final shout activated, my health is going up, and then my dog is back in action. And this will just happen over and over and over again, and you should be just fine to stay alive. If you come back to your computer and your character is dead, then what I'd recommend is setting your difficulty level lower, or see if we can get some different armor, higher level armor that kind of thing. Let's get into the XP rates and the emerald rates per hour. So I started our experiment with a level 69 account with 9,700 emeralds. Now my biggest question was, would this actually stay on all night or would it kick me out sometime after being AFK for a certain amount of time? So I went to sleep and I woke up the next morning to see what level we're at and what emerald number we had. Unfortunately, I don't know when, but it did kick me out at some point in the night, but I ended up with level 73 and about 10,000 emeralds, which isn't much. But we did get four levels from it, so it's not worth giving up just yet. So I ran all the way back to try this again. Instead of leaving it on all night, what happens if I just leave it on for, let's say, two hours? This. This is what happens. This is when I realized that items didn't despawn in dungeons. I got about one level from two hours, but I realized that the reason why I wasn't getting any emeralds is because you have to walk around to collect them. Once I collected them, I had a fair amount. Now, by fair amount, I mean about 200 or 300 emeralds, but keep in mind, after leaving it on technically all night, I only got 300 emeralds. So it looks like you have to walk around to collect your emeralds. I went ahead and AFK'd for another two hours. I got a whole nother level, and then I collected about 
400 more emeralds. So it looks like the XP rates at this level is about one level every two hours and about 500 emeralds every two hours. Now it's not great, but also I was doing work during this. So it's a nice little bonus. So I tried again for two hours, but this time instead of having like a consistent level and a little bit of emeralds, it was pretty bad. I got about half a level and about half the emeralds I would have expected from it. Here's what's weird. I did it again and I got another level and about what I expected with emeralds, about the 400, 500 emeralds every two hours. Why, why was it inconsistent? I think I figured out why. In this case, there's a pillager in the top left that doesn't see me. He has no idea. And he's sitting on the top left for a while. Could be hours, could be minutes. And sometimes, in this case, he'll notice the dog and they'll battle. But then sometimes, like this, the skeleton just sits there and doesn't notice you forever. One thing you can do to mitigate this if you're having that issue is I've sat here and then a friend of mine would sit over on this side over here and we AFK together actually and that works pretty well because then you have a higher chance of the mobs in the corners seeing you and attacking you. And now the next question I want to answer is what happens if we have a level one account? How long would it take to get the requirements needed and could we actually do this on a fairly low level? All right, five minutes later the tutorial is done and you get the same item every time. We got a fishing rod. Yikes. Now I'll we'll have to power through a couple levels to get to our pumpkin pasture. Hey, look at that. First level down, tasty bone acquired. Give me something good, please. Corrupt the beacon. Well, not quite. I feel like at this point I've bitten off a little more than I can chew, but I just want to see as a level, what, six with level 11 armor if I can even take any of this damage without dying instantly. This might be more of like a three, four hours in kind of situation, not like a, hey, I can do it in 10 minutes. Seeing as I'm about 30 minutes in and I still need a lot of stuff, including my enchantment, I think the final shout's gonna be the hardest to find. Man, it does feel good getting excited for a level six sword though, I'll tell you that. Here we go. So if I get hit, it only do four damage. Okay, that's not bad. Okay, oh gosh, yeah, that's not gonna work at all. I definitely need way more, way more armor. So this might be like a uh, level level 30, you might be able to start doing this AFK method. But this might not be a bad way to farm levels until I get to the point where, there we go, like I just said, until you have enough power levels to actually get decent armor. So I've been doing a couple levels. I'm up to level 15 right now, and I got some armor upgrades. I also just defeated the boss and got myself one of the pieces I need, which is the Totem of Regeneration. Now that we have that, that'll help us out. What I really want to find right now is the enchantment that has... Uh, final shout. Oh, I thought that was final shout right there. I got really excited. It doesn't look like anything I have right now has final shout. Hopefully the things that I buy in a second here will give me what I'm looking for. But thankfully, I've unlocked my second level of enchantments. So, that's a good news. But before we go on, let's see if I get anything in my beautiful chest. Come on. Give me a llama or something. Nope. I tried. So now let's salvage some of these things and buy it. I don't need any great hammers at the moment. I might keep one of them. Uh, let's go with... Oh, goodness. I guess we'll sell this one. And it looks like none of these have what I need. Thorns might be helpful, but we definitely what we're looking for is that final shout. Otherwise, there's no way we can AFK forever. Ah, that health energy, man. Looks so much like final shout for some reason to me. Our bone is also very low level, uh, but I think it'll do for what we're looking for. We're just missing that one llama. And we have a couple other pieces. If we put a decent enchantment, I'm, level, I'm power level 22, which is quite sad. But I've only been going for right about an hour at this point, playing levels. Let's see if we get what we're looking for. That could be... Oh, that's low level, actually. And level 21. We're just going to buy a few more. That might be all I can afford. Oh, a couple more. Okay. Eh, I don't need a bow right now. What I'm looking mainly for is armor. There it is. And that's all I have for right now. Come on. Give me some final shout here. And nothing. And... Oh, nope. Ah, shoot. I got really excited there. Ah, bums. Ah, I realized I could have put on a weapon to get a little higher power level, but it's not huge. All right, salvage my armor. Let's give this one more shot. Everything's the highest level I can get it. Yes. Come on, villager. What the? The last loch. Huh. Mobs drop more emeralds. Oh, that could be useful for emerald farming. It's a unique, too. How much is that worth? Man. Okay. If I salvage this, I think I'll have just enough for one more. Come on. Ah, bum. I do like the more emerald side of this, so I have an interesting idea. If we go back to pumpkin pastures, except we do it on fairly high difficulty. Eh, I think we probably do it on still low difficulty. Let's go back to that one area and just see how long I can survive if I'm only holding down my attack and I'm not actually doing any of my other enchantments. And by enchantments, I mean artifacts. Another thing I got recently is my boots of swiftness, which I am so grateful for, because speeding through these levels is a piece of cake now. Now, how many more emeralds do I normally get? I guess a couple 
per kill, or maybe like one every now and then. It's not a whole lot, but it's something. All right, back up at our bridge, and I'll just defeat these monsters real quick, and then hop over. So my plan is going to be just to see if I can use this not as an AFK farm, but just as an emerald farm. Them as being level one, I think I should be able to survive with my heavy defense here, but I'm not sure. They only do a couple damage apiece, so we, we'll see. All right, so if I stand up here, and I just swing. So if I do something kind of like this... Oh, you know what? I need my dog in this. Come on the battle, my boy. Even though my dog does kind of no damage at all. If I just kind of swing, will that actually do what I'm looking for? Oh, my dog's going to do most of the damage right now anyways. I might want to just remove my dog. Sorry, buddy. Oh, there's some extra emeralds. Ah, uh, the only thing is... Oh, I have a bat that's doing damage. Okay, well, that'll do it. I think. All right, so let's just stand here and swing and not move at all and see if how my emeralds look. Okay, a little bit of emeralds from him, and it looks like uh, some damage happened. I probably can't AFK this for very long, but it might be decent just to kind of, you know, do work on a different computer, just kind of swing and, and hit people and see if I can get a lot of emeralds just doing this. So I'm going to do this for a few minutes and see what... Oh, there was two emeralds right there. That was helpful. And see, uh, after 10 minutes, what my emerald output looks like. All right, so about 10 minutes later, I have a little over... Let's get all these. About 150-ish. Uh, one thing that I learned to do instead of actually smacking them, because it didn't seem that very worth it, is just pick up the arrows and shoot with the arrows, because I have this guy on, which has multi-shot and power, and so it just tears through these guys, and I found that that's a much simpler and easier way to, to kill them. Uh, emerald, per, emerald per hour is pretty low. I might do this more to collect enough emeralds to buy things, uh, but it might be easier just to grind out just a bunch of levels to get to the point where I have my final shot of one of my pieces of armor. So I just kind of listen to podcast, stand here, and just look at look at that. I mean, that's just annihilating. And there's a bunch of emeralds there, and that's a whole wave gone. And so I've gotten about a level and a half doing just this. Uh, it's the most minimal effort possible to get your levels in emeralds. But eh, so far, so good. All right, that's enough of that. Let me beat this level real quick, and we'll see if we get anything at the end. Easy. All right, that's the end of that level. I think I'll probably get like a level one piece of wheat or something. Honestly, wouldn't be mad if to have a llama, even though it's low level. And nope, flaming quiver. Actually, a pretty high level flaming quiver. All right, so let's get rid of a lot of these items. We usually get a bunch of low. Oh, I should definitely check. Oh, oh, I thought that was final shout again. All right, let me break all these. Break these down. These are just ones I got during uh, the like half AFK level. All right, so now I'm up to almost 500 emeralds honestly the best emeralds is just breaking down the items that you get from the individual monsters but let's see what we get here okay piece of armor hopefully we got something good shekels don't need my shekels All right, a couple pieces of armor oh that's level 32 come on now uh no final shout and no final shout and bummer no final shout that was that was close all right, well, I think that'll be it for this episode. Uh, I'm level 16. I do want to see what it's like and how long it would take to get to the point where I can AFK this. What I also want to see is how many levels I can get with doing literally nothing, seeing how far I can get as a character while doing as little as humanly possible. So if you want to see the series continue, just let me know. I very much enjoyed doing this. And if you want to see more tricks and tips in this style, just let me know because I love me some cheating. <laughs> Hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and we'll see you next time. Ooh, I might have one final purchase. Come, ah, uh, yeah.